welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my very last ever Accutane update. I am officially completely 100, what, I said that weird, 100% done with Accutane. I've actually stopped taking Accutane for about a week now. I'm done. I didn't quit. I survived it. My entire six month treatment is finished. And today's video is going to be the update. So you guys pretty much know how this goes every single month I update you guys on my skin what it looks like and then we talk about all the symptoms that I've been suffering because for the month because every single month they kind of are a little bit different and just so you guys know out of every single update that I have come out with for you guys the last month the sixth month was the absolute hardest and we are going to get into that um, halfway through the video so the first thing that I want to talk about is the results um, how my skin is looking and you guys can see that I am 100% makeup free the only thing that I have on my lips right now is a little bit of chapstick because my lips are still really really dry I read online that it could take up to six weeks before my lips get the moisture back after stopping Accutane and that's like one of the symptoms that I can't wait to disappear you guys know that I sound like a broken record complaining about the dry lips also I know in my last video that I said that I was not experiencing any hair loss which I'm still not and that my nails are not breaking because those are two symptoms that a lot of people do get and seriously you guys during the entire five months before that none of my nails broke at all and I have one broken nail now so it looks a little bit weird just wanted to point that out right in the beginning so let's go right ahead and start talking about the skin this is obviously the finished results I guess after the entire treatment plan and I am over the moon you guys it has been four months since I've had even one pimple on my face so that means that I have not had one breakout since the second month on Accutane every single morning I wake up and I look at my skin in the mirror and I just can't believe how flawless and beautiful and airbrushed my skin looks every single morning I never in my wildest dreams thought my skin was gonna be this clear I'm just blown away the skin feels very healthy and smooth to the touch I also have virtually no pores or blackhead no I said that wrong hold on rewind I virtually have no blackheads anymore so all of those little spots that I used to have on my nose and on the skin around my nose completely disappeared all of my pores are completely clean I do still have pores obviously I'm human we all have pores but the medication really did make them shrink so they're tiny I used to feel like I always had to apply a primer before my my makeup because my pores used to be huge but they really did shrink on the medication and I know that's a question that you guys ask me a lot um, does it also treat whiteheads blackheads and big pores and in my experience yes so just to reiterate I am completely over the moon with my results this is what my skin looks like now and I'm really hoping and praying and have my fingers crossed that it's going to stay like this for a really long time to come I mean I'm not gonna say that I'm not expecting to ever get another pimple in my life because I know that's you know a miracle but I just feel extremely blessed coming from somebody that had really bad skin and every time that I went out in the public I felt like people I saw people's eyes traveling around my face rather than giving me eye contact and that was one of the hardest things to put up with and I know people do it without even realizing but to not have to worry about that anymore I have so much more confidence and again I'm just really really happy at my final six month results okay so two things that I am left with after the six month treatment and that is really really dark dark circles under circles a lot of you guys said girl you don't have dark circles I don't know what you're talking about in my last update I have a really huge ring light and studio lighting all around me you guys I'm telling you it's washed out you could probably kind of make them out but not really trust me it's really dark and I talked to my doctor about it and he agreed with me yes you do have really dark circles and it's kind of like a side effect of the medication one of the ones that can be long term it's due to the dehydration on the medication and it's something that takes a really long time to clear up even after you're done so he did prescribe me a prescription and it's called hydroquinone 4% and basically I just apply this right before I apply my normal under eye moisturizer you're supposed to use it morning and night I only use it at night because from what I read online, it's a very strong prescription and I just feel like my skin is very thin right now so I only use it at night and I actually use it every other night. It's actually described as a skin bleaching agent so it's really supposed to help to lighten that area and especially like right here, the inner corners of my eyes, it's really dark so I will let you guys know 
my experience with this. And then what is typical after a lot of people finish Accutane, your doctor will prescribe you Retin-A, which is I guess something that's supposed to help with the scarring and the hyperpigmentation that is left behind. You guys know my last update that I did say my doctor told me if I really 100% wanted to get rid of any of the scarring, you can see it a little bit more on this side. Um, if I wanted to get rid of that and also the redness that I'm kind of left with, he did recommend me to have a micro peel laser and a Fraxel laser, which are both done at the same time. It's $1,500 and I have to wait about six months after Accutane before I can even get it. To be honest with you guys, I'm on the fence about it. I kind of do want it because I feel like it will be like icing and cherry on top after this huge life altering six months that I went through. I kind of feel like I, I want to treat myself to really have my skin look extra special. Um, but I'm not 100% sure yet. It's a lot of money and I don't know if it's gonna be really that dramatic because some people might need more than one treatment. So in the meantime, um, yeah, I have my dark circles and my hyperpigmentation. I have these two prescriptions to kind of help me deal with it and other than that I cannot complain honestly you guys know I can't say it enough times I feel so blessed to have the skin that the medicine has given me now so really I, I sound stupid complaining about anything now on to the juicy part and we are gonna talk about the side effects this month I'm gonna let you guys know that the six month again was the roughest month the first month on Accutane was really really hard and I feel like this last month was double as hard as that first month um, some of the main reasons for that is the muscle pain was so intense I don't know I feel like my body was just really getting fed up with the last month and my entire body was in so much pain specifically my neck anytime that I would look to the left or the right like I would feel my my bones like kind of grinding against each other my entire spine my entire back um, the muscles they just feel so sore very hard to get out of bed very hard to get motivated and a huge lack of energy I guess all of that ties in because then my depression and anxiety during the last month was at an all-time high I do plan because a lot of you guys have been requesting and asking if I can come out with a video on my own personal story with depression and anxiety and how I deal with it but it is shown on the medication and the, the little symptoms online and actually on the package that this medication can cause depression and anxiety even in people that have never experienced that so I already had a little bit of that that I had dealt with you know for a long time in my life um, but the medicine just made it so much harder the last month and this is something that the first month and a half I did deal with and then it kind of went away and then the last month it came back really really bad so I just felt overall um, very depressed like very sad I wanted to cry about anything I was very sensitive and emotional about anything and everything and then also my anxiety levels went up where I just felt very like nervous and preoccupied and kind of like my mind would just wind and wind and wind and go too much and I would think about my future and I would think about my job and I would think about my security and like my mind I just could not get a hold of it to calm myself down and um, it's a feeling that I haven't like a panicky kind of feeling that I haven't experienced in a pretty long time and to be honest with you guys I feel like if the medicine was like this the entire time I would not have been able to do it the physical pain and the mental shit that it put me through the last month I really feel like I would have been like okay I can't do it because the last month was so hard for me I feel like I was holding on by a string I kept telling myself Lee it's the last month you can do this you did file already it's the very last month you've come so far and I did get through it but it was it was hell other than that the very last month I did have a lot of itching throughout my entire body you guys know that I, I let you guys know um, during these updates that my face never really got dry or scaly itchy flaky but my body really did and the last month again was really difficult I was scratching a lot and I guess throughout the night I would scratch a lot and not even realize it and I would wake up in the morning with tons of little scratches especially on the back of my arms um, and on the top of my back I don't know what it is but I would scratch a lot you guys know that I have very long nails so that's not really good and I would wake up with all these little tiny nicks and all day long I'd be scratching I used so many different types of lotions but yeah I also had a lot of that red flushing to my skin and that's something that I've never dealt with ever I always had acne and, and pimples and scars but never had like a red skin tone um, but my skin just flushed very red and the doctor did say yes it is a side effect because I asked him about everything like I go in there with a notepad and I asked my doctor anything and everything um, he did say that it could be a side effect of the medicine it's something that could be long term or it could go away with time um, during I did a tag video um, 
with my friend Amanda, I forgot the name of the tag, I think it was my first time tag or something like that, and my face and my neck and my chest were really flush red during that video. You couldn't really see the face because I had makeup on, but a lot of you guys noticed the redness to my chest and my neck, and um, I don't know, I never had that problem before, and it was really obvious and noticeable. I did pick up some anti-redness moisturizers and face washes from Clinique. I'm still testing them out. And also my entire skincare routine is changing, but I definitely want to wait and try it at least two, three months before I'm 100% sure. If you guys want to know what my skincare routine while on Accutane was, I'm going to post that down below. But now that I'm post Accutane, I'm going to have an entire new one. And yeah, guys, I have been off Accutane for entirely one week right now. I believe from what I read online, um, the medication takes one month to leave your system, but three months to kind of get rid of all of the symptoms and really have your body regulated. And I do wanna say just to wrap up this entire series here, since this is gonna be the last one, that I am just really proud of myself that I stuck it out. It absolutely was not something that was easy to do. It was very life um, altering while I was on it. Like it did affect my life, but then in the end, it's a life altering medication because this problem of acne hopefully is solved for good. I know 15% of people do have to do a second round, but since I was on such an aggressive, strong dose, my doctor says that he does not think I will be one of those unlucky people that have to do a second round. But honestly, you guys, if I had to, if it came back to the degree that it was before Accutane, I would do it again. But I did stick it out and we stuck it out. So many of you guys have reached out to me and told me that these videos really give you hope. A lot of you started Accutane because of these videos or at least consulted your doctor about it. And so many of you guys just show your appreciation and your support for these videos and it is something that has touched me so, so much. Honestly, you guys, the, the way that you guys communicate in the comments for all these videos is just amazing. You are all there for one another and you answer each other's questions and you're there to support one another. And I'm really sorry that I'm not able to answer back because so many of you guys write, write to me on email, on Instagram, on Facebook, on comments, on YouTube message. And it's they kind of just flood my inbox and I can't get back to every single person, which is why I try my absolute hardest to answer all of the questions that you guys are asking, um, writing to me, I try to bring them up in video in hopes that you guys will get the answers that you are looking for. With that being said, right after this video, because this is something that I don't wanna forget to do now that the whole Accutane series is being wrapped up, I did ask you guys in my last update to send in your questions. So right after this, I'm gonna turn the camera off and then turn it right back on again and I'm gonna film a most asked Accutane q and I'm not a professional, but I am a patient and I feel like I have a good grasp on my body, the changes that I went through, my results. Um, and a lot of you guys are asking me questions on very specific things, so I don't want this video to be super long. Um, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that one is gonna be up after this. I wanna let you guys know if you are on this medication and you are not clearing up as fast as you saw my journey to not give up. I, before I went on this medication and even during the, the first month, I wanna say I watched so many people's Accutane journeys and everyone is completely different. I know for me, the two month mark is really where my skin started to clear up and I saw the improvement and it was only uphill from there, but there are so many other people that kind of have to wait until the three, fourth, and even fifth month mark. My doctor told me that a lot of people and the majority of people actually see clearage during the fifth and sixth month. So definitely do not get discouraged. I'm so proud of you guys, the ones that have been reaching out to me telling me that you're on this journey now, that you mustered up enough strength to ask your doctor about it and that you're so excited and I'm so excited excited for all of you guys as well. I do have a montage of footage as well of pictures and videos that I took every single month and I think that's a video I'm also gonna come out with so you guys can see my journey and video and pictures for the entire six months. I think it would be cool to put it all in one video. So if this is the first Accutane update that you've seen of mine, I did document every single month and also pre-Accutane. So I will be inserting the entire playlist down below. Thank you guys all so much from the bottom of my heart for joining me on this journey and I've honestly learned so much about myself and about the amazing people and supporters all around me throughout this journey. So I really do hope that you guys have benefited as much as I have. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I love you so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.